<laughs> hey guys, I like to talk on Steve Universe. Yeah, we are used to the hiatus. There's been hiatus, hiatus, hiatus. And when we finally got to see these great episodes, Reunion, and Legs Off the Homeworld, bam, more and more of it. Rumors have speculated that the episode will start showing uh, September and... Well, my best guess would be probably the 6th, because someone mentioned that someone expected it on a Thursday in, in September, no less. So who knows? Maybe tomorrow they'll show the episode. Also, a lot of people at the Roundtable community, yes, I'm a part of it. I'm just a fan, but I did become part of it. But I just, you know, I'm still working on my Steven Universe video. So far, I've gone all the pictures. I just need a picture for the later half of it, where, um, where White Diamond and Pink are kind of like family, but then again, they'll find all that, so I need to sort of develop the end pieces. So what other people and the, their thoughts from Ice Wizard, spoilers, escapes as in both songs by Steven and PD, a duet. This is where most people believe that this is probably going to happen or not, but here it goes. Blue and yellow confront white about pink, that pink, it's last Steven. I attempt to explain the situation. White, uh, White plans on keeping Pink trapped in her room indefinitely as a sort of punishment. This makes Blue angry. She tries to convince White to let Stephen go free. But White Diamond bubbled Blue and trapped her in another room. The relationship dynamic between White and the other Diamonds is very much like a mother daughter, sort of a thing. Through whether or not there is actually any love, it's arguable. White is controlling and mass perfectionist, and she cares only about the le legacy of gem heritage. Pink twin led us from the Game of Thrones. White Pearl once belonged to Pink and was once Pink Pearl. Now remember, these are just rumors, but some people could speculate that this could be true. White Pearl was Pink's first uh, Pearl, but two were very close. White did not like this. It seems to me that she felt that White Pearl viewed the Pink rebellious tendencies. We learned at some point that Pink disobeyed White as punishment and White corrupted Pink Pearl's mind and the racial memory. Our Pearl was White original pearl. Pearl placement. The reason Pink forbid our pearl from talking about the fake shadow in on Earth was actually more protecting her than anything else. Yeah, that's another thought. And here's another one. Here's another hint to her powers. White diamond to be exact. She's scary. <laughs> White has the ability to mind control and manipulate other gems. With Captain and Blue and Steven's bond used in the aura protection they saw a reunion, White is completely blind to Steven's origin form, at least it seems that way. Yellow, after some plotting, decided to help the Christian jump free Steven. White uses her mind manipulation to turn all the home world against our gang. After Steven's freed with help of Yellow and Yellow also freed Blue, they're pretty awesome chase sequence. When Yellow and Blue finally came to realize that Steven is not Pink, he does not have her memories, he's just a new life form. And but Pink's legship was destroyed. Ouch. Next part of the video is the game managed to escape the plan with the help of Lars the Stars! <laughs> Big computer contrivance, I know. Yellow and Blue stayed behind to distract White, which implied that they will surely be punished. So, yeah. Those are some, those were the fans of White Wizards. Pretty awesome, actually. I mean, anything can happen, but seriously, that was like, wow. So, yeah. Everyone's still waiting for the episode. Everyone thinks the anime shows up in August. But now it's September. And now we have to wait in September, because they say it's September, and it's September. So, tomorrow, on the 6th, we might get it. And if I'm wrong, well, here's a bet. If the episode of Steven, New Steven shows up tomorrow, or any other, in any other country, I will do a list of the scariest episodes of Steven Universe for Halloween. But if that doesn't happen, then I'll do a review of Maybe one of my favorite Steven Universe episodes. Yeah. I I do love Review My Little Pony, but in time, there'll be time when I'm going to review something else. Because, well, I'm not going to be part of, I'm not going to create myself. I'm not going to create an OC for Steven Universe. No, 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 no. For a while, 
I'm going to stick with My Little Pony until the show's over. Until then, I enjoy the ride on the fan, on the brony train. Woo-woo! But also, I want to say something to my friends who are close bronies to me. Recently, last year, I went through a lot, and I decided to stop being part of brony groups. Reason one is, I have a lot of stress. Reason two is, well, the phony, the brony fandom is kind of toxic at this point in my life, and well, I don't need to be stressed by all this toxicness. As some of my other friends pointed out that the fan of the brony group was fun at first on the run, but things started to change. People started to get framed for things they did, and other people were blamed or framed for something they did that really caused them to shut down their channels or made them look like criminals. I'm not going to say their names. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'm going to say this. The Brony fandom is fun. It's fun to poke and watch My Little Pony and enjoy the show and make comments and theories about the show. But at this point in my life, I stopped joining Brony groups. I still am part of a Brony group of my own, but I don't go to it that much because I am busy with I'm busy with so many things. And I have a channel of, and I have a channel to work on, on my YouTube page. I'm still trying to work on my animation. I'm still not perfect. I'm still not good. Everyone points out I made mistakes and I'm not very good. You could say I'm kinda of like, well, you know. As you know what I mean. Sometimes I think like I'm like her. I can't make the right decisions. I can't draw well. But I do the best I can. So yeah. At this point in my life, the only group I want to join in with my friends is the group that well, I created a group on Skype called We Support Shania. Shania is one of my best friends and I think of her like my little sister. And I I do also have another group called To All Brony Kind. It's a simple little group for a few of us bronies who go there. Only the ones who are, you know, new to it or still friendly. Definitive insanity, where, um, well, as I've said before, as I've said in the past, um, it used to belong to Manny Chan until she stopped because, well, reasons I cannot say, rather not. It's her to say. So I still. I'm a co I'm a I'm a co-founder like anyone from there, and there's also the uh, Pride of the Apples art project. I'm still drawing pictures for them because well they're wonderful people. Plus, artistic Tony is a wonderful boss. Actually, I really like him a lot. He's a really good person. He's giving me a chance to at least try. And my paranormal groups, of course. Gotta have, gotta have my, uh, gotta have my hobby in dealing with paranormal. That's all I have to say to you folks about the fact that, well, the hiatus of Steam Universe is just going too long. If I'm wrong tomorrow, then you'll be seeing a treat but a trick. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm gonna suck the kind day.